Hello and welcome back to Go Duluth. My name is Dakota Canty and today I'm going to be talking about a tool which makes public transportation a lot more simple and accessible. I'm of course talking about the Transit app which is available on most smart devices. This app acts as your personal travel assistant complete with all maps or in timing that you'll need. In this video I'm going to be going over the basics of the app, how to use it, and what to expect from it. With the first step of course being downloading the app. Like I said before, this app should just be available on your mobile device's app store. So after typing in the Transit app and downloading it, you will just go straight into the interface. After you've made it in, you'll hit the top left corner if you'd like to make an account through the Transit app. This doesn't make your experience much different other than just adding some level of personalization. After you've created your account, you can customize your name and app icon. You can choose from any of the emojis listed below. However, you will not be able to choose your name. That will always be random. I went with Stratus Plunder. So after you've made your account, you, this is what the main interface looks like. As you can see, if you click on a bus route, you can see your location, the bus route itself, where the bus exactly is, and the stop that you should be picked up at, com combined with the walk that you should take to get there. The app shows you all of the different buses that are running at one given moment. If we were to type in a specific location like UMD, it will then pull up a personalized travel route for three different buses, in this case four because the green and blue are combined in that third option. And it also shows the different walking and biking possibilities and how long those tr trips are expected to be. What I like about the biking option is that it shows the dangerous roads that you should be looking out for. It also has an option to select an Uber if, if that is, is your preferred method. So after you've decided on your route, you'll just have to allow Transit to send you notifications so that it can let you know when to leave, when to get on, and when to get off. But once you start go, it will just uh, let you know how long you should take to, before you should leave to go wait at your bus stop. And then it will also share with you how long the trip will be. And finally, the app has a built-in registry for all of the fare rates which you can buy. You can buy a individual ride all the way up to a month pass for the bus. And that about wraps up my transit app guide. Hopefully you found something of use in this video. I know that the Transit app has made my travel experience a lot more simple. So try to use the bus, get out there, and have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks for watching.